Welcome back. I'm going to put in the, um, the 90 degree fold. Um, I, I'm not going to put it in tight. I'm going to put it in roughly. I need to be able to move it one way or the other. Once I put a really strong line in with the planishing hammer and the weight, bear in mind, I don't have a set of folders. If I had folders, I could just, um, you know, just fold this immediately. I've, I've, I've just um, got some dividers here and I've just sort of measured the, um, the, the flange and I've gone about 2.5 mil long. I need, to, I want to be able to trim some off. So let's just, um, it's not the straightest edge, you know, um, it was a long cut by hand. And let's just put a, um, there we go, let's bring it to the camera so you can see it. Just run the dividers down the edge, we're just getting a line, it's just about, can the camera, yeah, it can just pick that line up. That's enough, it's all I need. Just, um, there we go. I'm not sure how long it is, it doesn't really matter because I've, I've sort of measured that against the sill. It doesn't matter whether it's 9 mil or 15 mil because um, I'm not doing it from measurement. You know, I'm, I'm, I've just literally just used, used the car as a guide. Now, uh, which way will I do this? So I'll just pop this in the, um, in the vise and I'll bend it first. So which way are we going? Yep, it's definitely that way. I'll, I'll do this in, in sections. I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing. Let's just uh, pop it in the vise. Tighten the vise up. First of all, I'll just do it by hand a little bit. Which, oh God, hang on a minute, I'm going the wrong way. There we go, let's get, get, get the vise going the right way. That'll help. Gosh, this is awfully difficult to film. There we go. That's it. I'm just going to... Gosh, there we go. Let's see what's see what's starting to happen. That's that's only about a quarter. I need that to be a sharp, a sharp ninety degree bend. But of course, I can't get the whole lot in the vice. So um, I'll just do a little bit at a time. And I'm faffing about in the street. I've got this ridiculous crapped out workbench, which I think I found actually. I don't recall buying it. I think somebody had thrown a tax. It wasn't very good and it's, uh, it'll do. It's all I've got. Uh, there we go. There we go. Tighten the vice again. Bit of... Uh, yeah, devil. That's it. Once I've got... See, what's happening is I'm putting this fold here it, there were wrinkles, it was a bit sort of wobbly. Putting a fold here, it tightened that up. It really made it quite taut. It's much less wobbly than it was before. As you can see, it's, um, it's quite a job. And I just need a very tight, a, a very, very sharp line. This is a soft, you know, just a soft curve. And I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I don't tighten that up. I won't tighten that up with a, with a weight and put a sharp line in until I'm really happy really happy with the um with the curve here i've got to make sure the profile's right but this will allow me to sort of offer it up to the car a little bit and um, it'll be interesting to see if it does or doesn't fit the car because without a, a a fold on it there's no way of um there's no way of telling whether it fits the car you know these are always uh, an approximation you, once the once the panel's closer to being finished you can put the final shape in later uh, excuse my breathlessness but this is honest it's quite a physical task there we go but you get the idea you know it's um i just want to get this fold roughly in the right place um you know and i will detail it and fine fettle it later with a with a hammer and weight i won't be doing the final detailing in a bloody vice, that's for sure. The vice is not even bolted down, it's just wobbling about on this crappy old workbench I found at some point. I've definitely found it, I haven't bought this thing. Somebody would have dumped it in the street in disgust because it was so awful. But um, I'm finding it perfectly fine and usable. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get my little template. Let's see how we're doing. Whoops, I will have lost curve here because I've been pressing against the curve to get that fold in. So I will have definitely lost considerable amount of um, shape. But that's okay, I can easily put that back. There we go. Yep, I've lost a lot. 
but I'll easily be able to put that back in with this fold in place. Yeah. So let's let me um, let me finish this fold off camera because these films are going to get a bit too long if I'm not careful.